Hi, so today I'm making a plant-based bowl. You may see it as a Buddha bowl or a Poke bowl. Um, I can't think of any other names right now, but there are lots of different bowls. Um, the one I'm using today is going to have kale and carrots, lentils, bell pepper, green beans, and some green onions. I'm gonna make a tahini dressing to go on the top. So the first thing I'm going to do is I have my lentils cooking. So where I live, we can't buy already cooked lentils, um, canned lentils. And so these were dried lentils that I soaked overnight. Um, you don't have to soak lentils that long, but I do like to soak them and sprout mine. And now they are cooking. So that's all they, it's just lentils covered in water cooking in a pot. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is prepare my carrots. So this is mostly roasted carrots for this dish. And so I usually do about three carrots per person. You can see there are lots of different sizes and so it really doesn't matter and I'm going to cut off the top about right there and these ends will go into my freezer bag to make veggie broth later okay so I have a baking sheet lined with parchment paper so I don't have to use oil I have my nine carrots because there are three of us. So carrots are loaded with beta carotene, which is a precursor to vitamin A. And so that is more condensed when they're cooked, but they can also spike blood sugar. So if you have, if you're struggling with blood sugar, it may be better for you just to shred it and have shredded raw carrot on your bowl instead of roasting it. Um, here in our house, our blood sugar is very well regulated. We have our A1C checked and uh, we know that it's in control. So roasted carrots are fine for us. So I'm gonna stick these in the oven at 375 for about 20 minutes. And then I'm going to add these green beans to the pan. I don't wanna cook them too long. They're already nice and tender um, after about 10 minutes. So I'm gonna stick these in the oven. I have the timer set for 10 minutes to let me know that it's time to add the uh, bell pepper. So while that's cooking, I'm going to prepare my kale. I want the kale to be raw. Um, it's, it's very good to have raw greens and cooked greens throughout the day. Um, we need some of the vitamins and minerals in our body to help with all of our different body processes, but especially detoxification. And we get that from the B vitamins and, the, and C, vitamin C, but that can be destroyed in cooking. So we want it to be raw. So all I'm going to do is I'm gonna hold it by the stem and strip the leaves, and I can put them on my serving platter or in a large bowl. Um, I want these to be torn, so I'm just going to tear them here on this plate. I could put them on my bake, my uh, baking sheet, my cutting board and just chop them if I want to, but they're just so easy to tear. And you can let out whatever you have going on in the day. Use that as some kind of stress management, right? Actually, you want to love our food. We want our food to love us back, right? <laughs> whatever works for you. <laughs> If you juice, save these kale stems to go through the juicer. Okay, now I'm going to chop up the bell pepper. Now I could roast the bell pepper with the carrots, um, but I like it to be raw. I love the vitamin C in here and I like the crispy, crunchy um, taste. Um, if I had trouble digesting kale, I would steam the kale um, just for a couple of minutes just to soften to help with digestibility. I like it raw, it's nice and crunchy. I'm gonna add the crunchy red bell pepper at the same time. So when I cut red bell pepper, I always cut away from the center, kind of in a curve, the same shape as the pepper to avoid those seeds. So now I have these pieces here that are without the seeds. There's a little bit of white pith in there that I'm gonna pull out just because it doesn't taste so good. It's probably very high in nutrients. And I'm going to, can you see what I'm doing? I'm going to just dice the bell pepper. I cut it into strips and then I line the strips up and I cut them again. So they're probably in quarter inch pieces. 
put that on my kale. Okay, something else that I want on my dinner is onion. So green onions or chives or red onions, whatever you like, um, those are in the Allium family, which is also wonderful for cleansing and detoxification. They also are best if they are raw. So I'm going to cut off these little root pieces here. I'm going to throw them in my freezer bag with those carrot ends for my vegetable broth. I think I have another video on that um, if you want to know more about that, or I'll tag it at the end. And so I'm going to rough chop the white. So the white is a little bit strong, and so I'm going to actually throw it in with the lentils. And then cut, cut up the greens to go on my salad. The tops can go in my freezer bag. Okay, so I bought these green beans that are already trimmed. You can see the ends are gone. Um, I don't mind them being nice and long. You could break them into bite-sized pieces. I'm just examining, examining them to make sure there aren't any hard pieces on the top. Sometimes when you buy them trimmed, they do leave some ends that need to be torn off or cut off. Maybe there's an end that just doesn't look so good. These actually look really good. They're nice and fresh. Um, now we grow our own, um, but this time of year we don't have them. And so I just wanna make sure that they look good and they do. So they are ready to go onto my pan. So here are our carrots. Right here, I'm just gonna throw the green beans right on top. Mm, they smell so good. All right, you can see I just threw them right on there. Green beans are wonderful food. We don't think about them as being um, full of nutrition and very high in B vitamins, very high in fiber and wonderful for anyone who's working on um, glucose control, their blood sugar. So I'm gonna throw this back in the oven for 10 minutes. Okay, while the carrots and the green beans are cooking, I'm going to make our sauce to go on top. Every good bowl, salad bowl, Buddha bowl, poke bowl, whatever, should have a delicious sauce, right? So I'm gonna start with a lemon right here. I'm going to cut it in half. I forgot my juicer, so let me go grab it really quick. I just have a one cup mason jar here, or a half pint. So I save the lemon halves after I squeeze them in another gallon bag in my freezer to make my lemon vinegar for my house cleaner. I'll have to do another video on that. Okay, so I have one lemon. I'm going to add a quarter cup of water. I'm going to add a quarter cup of tahini. Tahini is ground up sesame seeds. Sesame seeds are very high in calcium. They're wonderful for anyone concerned about bone health. Um, the lemon is very high in vitamin C, helpful for uh, detoxification, full of antioxidants, helping with DNA repair. Let's see if I can get my teeny. You can see I don't measure. You don't have to be precise. I can tell that since this is a one cup jar, I can tell when I get to about a quarter of a cup. But it's so easy um, to just add some ingredients together. If it needs to be a little bit creamier, then I can always add some more tahini. If it's too thick, I can always add a little bit more water. All right. Now I'm going to add a teaspoon of garlic powder because I like a lot of garlic. 
I'm going to add a teaspoon of nutritional yeast. This is completely optional. I know not everyone likes to use nutritional yeast. If you're not familiar with it, it is kind of like a cheesy vegan Parmesan. It's got a umami taste or flavor. A lot of people like it on popcorn. Um, I do like it in different dishes. And I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of Himalayan pink salt. All right, that is our dressing. I am going to put the lid on it and give it a good shake. And I forgot to set the timer, but in about five minutes, I should be able to pull the carrots out. I'll set the timer. I've got my freezer bag to put the ends of the carrots and the onions. I'm not gonna add the peppers or the kale. Sometimes that can add a little off flavor. But so here's my freezer bag. I have onion parts, carrot parts. Sometimes I'll throw celery parts in there too. It goes in my freezer. And then when I want to make veggie broth, dump it in and make my veggie broth. Okay, it's the final countdown for our timer. Here are carrots sizzling. Okay, so I'm gonna put the carrots over here on our plates. Add some lentils. These are the lentils that I added the whites of my green onions on top. I do like to add a splash of apple cider vinegar whenever I have beans and greens. I don't know why. Um, it just adds a little bit of tanginess. It also helps with digestibility. I'm going to drizzle on our salad dressing. Give it another good shake in case it's settled. And sometimes I do. I have a poor spout that I like that goes in the mason jar, which I love, but if I don't have it with me, I like to use a 1 8 measuring cup and just drizzle. That gives you a really pretty drizzle. So I'll do about two of those for this big platter. Oh, it's just gorgeous. I'm gonna add a few more green onions on top. And here we go, a beautiful plant-based bowl. Isn't that beautiful? I, it took us only 20 minutes. It is packed full of protein, vitamins, and minerals with the lentils, the carrots, the peppers, and all of that kale smothered in a nice healthy fat from the tahini dressing. Anyway, if you make this recipe, please let me know. Like and subscribe to my channel. Share it with your friends, and I'd love to hear from you, so please comment. Enjoy!